This is G Money back again. I'm going to be starting out my new series right now about Mac tutorials on old and new Macs. But today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft mods on Mac. And I, I do realize, like, oh, um, G Money, it's, uh, so many people show you how to do this. But this is one of my more requested videos. And another thing is that, um, all these ones, I mean, like, I, I'm going to be showing you, because I've known how to install Minecraft mods since, since 2012, so, you know, like, I have years of, I have, like, four years of experience, so, I'm installing Minecraft mods, and yes, it has changed over the four years I have of experience of installing Minecraft mods, which I had first gotten the game in 2012, if you don't know, but, um, about these videos here, these these are all just like fake. I mean, like, no, sorry, sorry. Um, ones that I've seen before. Okay. Um, ones that I've seen before have definitely not been good. Matt, my, how to install Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft mods on Mac. There's like all this crap. Oh, 2015, oh, 2016. Like, they just changed the name of the video. Like, here's one, for example, a 1.8. This is using Hi guys, Matt here. something. This is a good tutorial, I bet. But, this is actually probably a better tutorial than I will show you. But, just for the sake of it, I will be doing it on my own way. And, now let's just cut to the chase. Um, yeah. There's a few that I've seen that are just like, oh, install, like, blah, blah, blah. And, like, these fake channels that just aren't good. So, yeah. Then they say they're from, like, they say they're from, for, like, 1.6 or 1.7 or 1.8 or 1.9 or 1.10. But they are from, like, 1.4.7. Like, I've literally seen that before. How to install Minecraft mods on 1.6.4. How to install, or it's, like, 1.4.7. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Come on. It's not even the same launcher. But let's just get into the topic. So, you saw a Minecraft mod that you wanted to just see, or download and try out. Now, yeah, what could that possibly be? Um, let's just say a popular mod from around now is, well, let's just say, Pixel Mod. No, uh, let's just say too many items. Okay, I suck at typing. Many items. Mod 1.7.10. It's all the same for even the newer versions. Just no, so I'm not lying about this. I have 1.7.10 port. I will show you how to install 1.7.10 forge. So, go to the correct link I will be providing in the description on minecraft6.com. Or I'm pretty sure this is going to be what we're going to be using. But, so, go down. Um, this site has Ted's Dev Mods, so. Tells you how to do it, but see, this is an instructional video, not an instructional page. For Forge version, using Minecraft Forge. So, that's another way, never mind. Um, too many items for Forge version, for Minecraft 1.8. Okay, I'll be showing you how to do 1.8. Never mind. Same thing as 1.7.10. Completely the same thing. So I hope I'm helping you. Just do keep because it's just it's just different for Mac. Um. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm okay. Minecraft Forge. Now this is the part that most people don't realize what you're there doing with because it has changed from over the years. From Minecraft Forge, it's just been different. The interface has been completely different. It used to be that you had to do it. Like manually, now it's an automatic installer, so you know they're just Minecraft Forge. And sometimes the website's gone through many variations, and I'll be showing you how to do it. So, this is the website. Don't trust anything else because sometimes they can screw you over with viruses. Okay, even though people are gonna be like, oh, G Money Max don't get viruses, they can if it's like Mac Cleaner or something. Why would you click on that? Or, congratulations, you've won, they'll steal your credit card. Okay, so go over to 1.8, go down, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a bit, I have 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8,
select it over here. This is 1.8, not 1.8.1, not 1.8.8, whatever. 1.8. Whatever version it is for you, feel free to click the click it. And feel free to click it down here. You just go through select. If your version isn't here that you're using, then just downgrade a little bit on your profile. I'll be showing you how to do that as well for the people that might not know how to do such a thing. Then, once you've selected 1.8, go over to installer. Um, it actually really doesn't matter if it's installer latest or installer recommended. Um, they're just a bit... This, this is more stable. This is the latest version recommended. So whatever has the biggest, better star, um, I'd probably do the recommended on some cases. And um, do the installer. Installer win is you could guess. It's from Windows. But this is it. This is the custom ad page that they're going to be doing. Adafolk.us, which is the correct one. And I'm just going to be downloading that right here. Um, it may take a while if you have bad Wi-Fi, but it's just it just does take a while. I don't know why, but it does. Um, basically, now keep okay. Um, now that you've got these two files, I'll just put them on my desktop as you can see. Close out of Google Chrome or whatever you use. I don't care. Um, as you can see on my desktop here. I've got too many items. I've got Forge 1.8. So, what you're going to want to do is double click Minecraft Forge 1.8, and it'll just give you this message. Also, um, yes, and then you're going to want to right click it, or if you have a Mac with a touchpad like I do, or if you don't use a mouse or something like that, that you're going to want to put both fingers on the touchpad and click it like you know like as you would do a right click then press open then press open doesn't matter they're just gonna say it looks like a virus because it's a jar file and those just are not as common they're like more of program files because Java is different on Mac anyway this is the installer great I don't have to go through this crap and things as you can see so, we're going to want to keep this in mind, though. Um, but we aren't going to have to do that, why, of course. So, um, install client. Or if you're doing a server, do install server. And then you have to find a different target folder. But this is not a server. Extract is um, com making it come out as a universal, which is completely different. And the newer Minecraft doesn't do that. So, I just, I'm not going to worry about it. So, just press OK. So yes, um, you have to have run 1.8 once to do it. So now go over and locate Minecraft. Um, crap. No, I don't want that. Just go over and locate your Minecraft launcher. Get out of that. Um, okay, yes, it's gonna be updating because I have some. I just haven't played Minecraft in a while. I don't play Minecraft on my YouTube that much. So I'm not a Minecraft channel. I am a all-around gaming channel. Sorry about the rambling. This could be redone, but I don't want to. Windows is going to be coming out tomorrow. So, about Windows. Um, I'm also going to be making many more map tutorials. And they'll be more professional than this little bad one. But uh, I will edit out the worst parts. Okay, it will put this Forge installer dot log on it. You, you can just delete that. You don't actually really need that. Just drag that into the trash. Then, it will just, okay, so yeah, my Minecraft, it, this probably won't happen to you because I just haven't opened Minecraft in a while. Okay, um, so you've got your Minecraft up. Okay, that's just nice. Um, everybody knows my email on my YouTube because it does say it on my YouTube, so... Nobody will know my password, though. Okay. So, um, you're gonna have a new, um, you're gonna have a new version. Um, I have already installed Forge. It, it will be called Forge, so let's just be playing on this one. But, in my case, it is copy of Forge, because I already had a Forge profile for 1.8 Forge. So, that may be a little confusing, but... 
I already had it installed, so um, copy of fours. We can edit pro. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Just do something with it. But forge is the one or no copy of forge. Never mind. Just, just screw all that. Okay, so yes, it should say ready to update and play Minecraft 1.8 dash forge blah blah blah. It has to say dash forge or it's not going to be the correct one. And another way to find this out if it doesn't if it has like 100 letters and numbers, go over here and then if it doesn't have forge, it will be really either release forge or release the version of your Minecraft dash forge something. If you're using Rigzumi or Rizumi's mod loader, or however you say that, but um, that is completely different and it isn't as widely used as it used to be in like 2012 and 2013. So just saying, um, this is Forge. I may make one of those, but just check this out. Save profile, play. Oh, yeah, you have to play first to load up your things. So, um. This is also how you're going to be accessing your .minecraft folder, and on Windows it is much easier to do it on Mac. But with the new, with the new way of doing, well, this has actually been around ever since there was texture packs in Minecraft. This is just the easiest way. And um, my, back in 1.5.2, used to black screen a lot, so just be good with that. I mean, so you just it should be saying the Mojang logo. I'm not going to zoom in because I have a little more to do in the Finder, but you know okay so it should load up pretty quickly but I do is this the first time okay so I do have x-ray already loaded on here um but first I must show you how to actually do this I also have a texture pack loaded as well so they're called resource packs nowadays so um yeah so they're called resource packs and um so open resource pack folder and then it will take you to your dot minecraft folder. You'll be in your dot minecraft folder. Okay, that's minecraft music. Never mind, be stupid. Okay, since now you've gotten to your dot minecraft folder, which is you're already in. Um, you're already in your dot minecraft folder, right? So, just do command Q on to get the the key command and then Q at the, like command. Hold command down for a little bit and then hold them like whatever. You're new to Mac. Okay, go to go um to it should have made a mods folder after the first launch. I do have Optifine and um um X ray because I have a cape and then I use X ray on single player to like cheat and things. I don't know why. Um I'm just stupid. Okay, um so I wanted to install too many items. So you've got your too many items mod here. Simply just drag it into the to, to the mods folder. Very, very easy. Now, close it out, and we're gonna, just gonna show you work. But mine, just delete one point eight four because you don't need it anymore. You don't. It's just it's been loaded in your Minecraft. You don't need it anymore. Now, go over to your or whatever you do to get to Minecraft. Um, I just go to your Minecraft, and then. Once um, um, once you've gotten it open, do the Forge profile at the same time. Click play. It'll load faster this time, just because it's for me. And the first time the mod the mod um Forge loads, it's kind of what's gonna happen. So like it it's gonna take a while. But that was the first time Minecraft had launched for a while for me. So. That's probably not going to happen to you. So. What's going on? Oh, I'm in a window. That's weird. Eh, this is a mid Minecraft. Command Q. Get out of it. Okay, sorry about that. That was just a bit weird there. I'm just not going to maximize it until I get into the actual game. So, go over to... This is... 
going to be, just press play, um, it's going to be quicker, as you can see, just don't press that button, because then it blacks your screen out, yeah, okay, so your Minecraft is going to open up, I just don't click on it, because it's going to screw you up, or you can, I guess, yeah, here you go, it's going to take a little while to load, once I have three mods loaded, like, there's some packs that have, like, 50, but that's like crazy craft and things, you know. Um, I'm not using crazy craft right now, so I will show you how to install that also if you want. If just request them. whatever you want, Mac tutorials, PC tutorials, just request that in the bottom. Okay, now maximize your game. Never mind, I won't because you might not be able to see it. Okay, click on mods, and then if you do realize that you're, if you realize that these should all be here, mod, um, coder pack, mod loader, and forge should be here for sure. If too many, if too many items should be here too, because I didn't install that. Now if you go back, um, um, Optifine and X-Ray don't usually show up in the mods, so you know it just depends on what mod it is. But you'll notice it in game for sure. If it depends on what mod. But just click. I'm just gonna go on a new world. Creative. Stupid. May take a while to load a new world just because. Okay. I do have texture pack on, so you probably won't notice too much, but um I'm gonna just go in. This is TMI. Um, you know, you should know what TMI does. Too many items. Post and potions. So, so yeah, TMI's been definitely loaded in. Um it would be giving you this menu bar here. You did it would just, if you didn't I'm gonna press the deactivate key. I believe it's either X or nope, it's none of them. I don't know what it is. It's O. Actually it's O. So just get rid of O and that'll take down your TMI. That's what it looked like without. That's what it looked like with. Now to go for Optifine, you gotta see if it zooms in my control or my key on my computer's function or a FM is in the Bottom right corner of your Mac, but that's the zoom key. And also, another way to make sure is function 55, five, and then yeah, that's my cape right there. So we're good. Um, um, so pretty much all the mods did work. X ray works, just press X. Yeah, look, I mean, look at all that stuff. So If any of you guys enjoyed the video, just please leave a thumbs up, um, and I will see you guys next time with another Mac tutorial. Thank you.